Hey, it's Nathan, and today I wanted to go ahead and talk about grad school stuff since I now have been through a semester of my PhD program and I know what that looks like and how I did. I can go ahead and talk about it, which is what I'm going to do. So as I mentioned before in other updates, I had three classes, two of which were math-based and one was a philosophy of teaching math class. Uh, I'll start with the teaching math one because it's just easier to talk about. There's not as much interesting stuff to talk about there. It was mostly participation based. We discussed just like what makes an effective destru <laughs> destructor, uh, what makes an effective instructor and things like what our strengths are teaching classes. I had to give two recorded presentations and watch them back to see like what things I'm good at, what things I can improve upon. And then I also had to make a video where I pretended to be a calculus instructor for a calculus one course and had to introduce calculus one via the online setting, uh, which was super in my wheelhouse because of this whole thing that I do with my free time. Uh, anyway, so if you want to see the whole thing, you should let me know. I will post it here if that is something you are interested in. It was not my best work because I had <laughs> actual math things to do. So even though that course was way less pressure than the other two classes I took, we still talked about interesting stuff and I feel like I learned something. At the end of it, I had to write a like fake teaching statement to sort of get my thoughts running on what my teaching philosophy would be should I decide to at some point be a professor, which is the current trajectory that I am on. But as we know, there are other avenues that are still open. Being in a PhD program does not mean that I will necessarily end up in academia, even though I have always wanted to do math research. So that is another thing that's pushing me that direction. But anyway, uh, that's enough about that one. I can talk about the actual mathy math stuff that I did as well. So the first math thing that we can get into is algebra because it's a little bit easier to talk about. I spent way more time on it than I did analysis this past semester. Um, it wasn't a lot of new things, but it was a lot of old things that I had seen before in other classes, but with much harder problems. So in terms of how many homework assignments there were and how that all went, I can show that in this graph. Um, so there were four different assignments and I did pretty okay on all of them. Not like the standard that I would set for myself in undergrad well, but I did good enough on these assignments and also on the two midterms to not have to take the final and still get an A in the class. So I feel like I did pretty okay. Um, I still did the final problems. I just didn't write them up and turn them in and across all of the stuff that I did in that class, uh, those four assignments turned into 62 typeset pages of proofwriting. So aside from how I did, <laughs> what did we talk about? Uh, we talked about all of these things. If I can just pull from the video where I did like the, the like reading the ingredients version of um, all of the algebra topics that will be on the qualifying exam, I will put that here and just highlight some of the things that we talked about in a different color than what I had in that video. So we'll do that like. So we'll go ahead and do that. The things that we covered in this first semester of algebra was basically all of the group stuff. So all of this stuff in blue is what we covered. So the other class I took this past semester was analysis. And analysis was the object of a lot of just worry and stress. Because in comparison to algebra, where we had four assignments that we had around two to three weeks a piece to think about, and even though the problems were really hard, there was enough time where you could intentionally sit down and work your way through them and work through concepts that you didn't quite get um, or that you need to, needed to just like push a little bit more than you were used to pushing them. In comparison to that, this is what analysis looked like. Analysis was 24 assignments where we had similar difficulty problems in some of those assignments, not always. 
and it was just you had to go and go and go and go uh, to make sure you had it done because 24 assignments in a 15 week semester comes out to around one to two assignments per week. So aside from the time pressure, there was also these two assignments, if you paid attention to the graph that I posted just a second ago, um, where I just totally botched things. And I mentioned this in a previous update. It was talking about Lucent's theorem and Ergarov's theorem. I just hadn't worked with those a ton before and didn't quite understand them in like the two days that separated the due dates for these assignments. And I was freaking out because analysis is related to my intended field of study. And so I need to be able to do this argument structure well in order to be successful later on. There are definitely things that I can improve upon with this class um, and the concepts in it, and that will come up as a part of the process of studying for quals. So yeah, essentially that's all that happened with the course stuff. So in total, there were 28 assignments, 190, eight pages of typeset proofs, six exams, one of which I did not have to take, which was my algebra final because things went so well, I just didn't have to take it. And I got straight A's, which was yay. Uh, along with all of that stuff, I also did some work with an undergraduate seminar. I ended up giving two seminar talks, which was supposed to be one, uh, but I ran over time on my first talk and then I didn't have enough material to just do that little snippet of stuff in the second talk. So I made the like the second part of the first talk into a whole other talk. Um, and so I gave two seminar talks in symbolic dynamics and its connection to fractal geometry, since that was what the undergraduate research seminar was on. So speaking of symbolic dynamics and fractal geometry stuff, I got the opportunity to sit in on a seminar talk given by Barnsley in Fractal Geometry is pretty well known. He wrote this book, which has lots of really weird examples. Uh, speaking of which, there is one in here that I want to show you. There it is. Okay. This thing is the creepiest thing ever. Um, it's like a ton of children in a spiral and I don't, I don't understand where this came from, like what the, the inspiration was for this. It's just baffling to me utterly and completely. Um, but that's in this book and it gives me nightmares sometimes uh, and it's not focusing anymore. Can you focus please? Focus on the book. There we go. Yeah. Anyway, so that was a thing. Um, but yeah, so I got to sit in on a talk that he gave about some research that he had been working on and that just got put onto the archive just recently. And so um, it was about tilings and that was something I did stuff with in undergrad at the end of my undergrad experience. And it used symbolic methods and fractal geometry stuff, and it's in a paper. And so I'm reading this over the break as well. I'll put it in the description down below if you're interested in seeing what I will be reading through. Um, along with that, the undergrad seminar that I'm helping out with uh, is supposed to go into some other topics that I will be reading up on during the break as well. Um, so just more fractal geometry things are in my future. And yeah, that's pretty much all I've got for you today. That's all the things that are going on with break. Oh, I'm, I mean, MATLAB is in there somewhere trying to figure that one out because um, I haven't used it before. But other than that, that's basically it. Uh, it is also Christmas week, so I will be doing the whole thing at some point. Um, not here, just like the whole like holiday celebration thing, uh, and that will happen, which is exciting, and I hope you guys, or whatever you're doing over the next week or so until the new year is great. Um, as always, I am Nathan. This one was Chalkless, and if you enjoyed it, you can give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more of these PhD update things. Uh, I also wanted to say thank you before I go, because my goal for this year was to hit 5,000 subscribers and have over 100,000 views, and oh my gosh, in the past like 30-ish days, just totally crushed that. And that is insane. So that was really exciting. We're now over 7K and that's just totally bonkers. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna, that's, that's a sign that I should keep doing this. And the straight A's are a sign that I academically am okay doing this during the semester. So hopefully there'll be more of me around next semester. Anyway, again, that's all I've got for you, you know. Thumbs up.
subscribe stuff. I already said all that. And I did the outro sentence. So yes, I'm gonna go now. <laughs> See you next time.